Those who follow the path of seeking the knowledge of witchcraft should pay less attention to rituals and more attention to making contact with the forces. How can this be done? How important is the ritual itself for those masters whose contact with the forces is long-standing and strong? The thing is that some rituals, for example on the black magic and rune site seem empty to me, I don't even want to read them to the end, while some other rituals from that site I read with pleasure. You, colleague, have confused two issues in one question, so let us first separate them. And let's start with the meaning of ritual. Because it all depends on the tradition you are working in. There are traditions where ritual is essential. And without it you can't establish a channel, you can't make contact. And some rituals are just ritual play actions, they are not obligatory. It all depends on the tradition you're working in. If the channel is established and has been working for a long time, it will work without any ritual. But if the ritual is designed to involve many consciousnesses in a particular channel, such as the religious rituals of the Abrahamic religions, then a priest is required because not everyone who participates in the ritual has developed their consciousness to the point where they can perceive these energies on their own. When a priest performs the ritual, he realizes that he is not doing it for himself, he is doing it for those people whose consciousness is not ready to transform these energies, who are not ready to transform these informational currents through their own consciousness. They need an intermediary. And theoretically a priest becomes such an intermediary. It used to be that way, and there were a very large number of requirements, really a very large number of requirements, for the consciousness of a priest. Metaphysically speaking his consciousness had to transform these currents. He had to take a dense current, distribute it among all the people and make sure that this current was assimilated by each and every consciousness. A person who works on the channel for his own benefit, a professional sorcerer, a priest of his god, a practicing mage or an occultist, most likely doesn't have the goal of spreading the informational current to everyone. But he may have the need to cover a certain point in space with this current. And at this point, some people will enter the current, and some people won't. It all depends on what type of force the priest is conducting, the performance of the ritual in this case is decided on an individual basis. And it cannot be said that a certain ritual is obligatory for everyone, for all systems, for all religions, for all gods, or on the contrary that it is not obligatory, because for some people it is obligatory and for some people it is not. Now what concerns the site black magic and runes? Colleague, you are certainly experienced in this field, especially if you have read this site a lot and for a long time, and have even learned to sort out by feeling which ritual is empty and which is not. You must understand that such portals are not made because people have nothing to do, they are inspired by the forces. These portals are in the process of development, and for many beginning practitioners they are a testing ground for mastering their skills. And of course you have to assume, at least for a moment, that none of the practitioners are going to share their experience with everyone they meet without a good reason, that the information has to be taken out piece by piece, and that it is very difficult to separate the wheat from the chaff, and that they have been specially made in such a way that for every ritual that works, there are 100 rituals that do not work. At best they are empty, and some of them are even harmful. And they have been made in such a way, as to make you understand that nothing is ever given without a reason, and that even these kinds of resources, free resources, have a purpose, not just to teach you some rituals, but to teach you how to identify information that works and information that does not work, to teach you how to identify what is true and what is false, 
правильному определению истинно и ложно. To teach you how to combine multiple rituals for personal individual purpose. If it is runes, you will learn to develop the ability to read runes, the ability to compose bind runes, the ability to understand which bind rune is working, which bind rune is not working, the ability to understand which bind rune will be useful to you personally, and which won't be. They help to develop that kind of feeling, that kind of knowledge. It's a testing ground, a great testing environment that can teach the seeker in the shortest possible time. There are truly unique masters on this site, but there are also some provocateurs, there are beginners who think they are masters, and there are masters who occasionally, maybe once a year, leave a comment and that comment is worth a million posts before it. And it's an enormous amount of work to read all that, to let it go through you, to form a skill of recognizing what is true and what is false, to form a really complex, intuitive skill of knowing and understanding. So it's not surprising that this portal doesn't give you key information in a gift box with a ribbon. It is a learning portal, designed to teach. That's the kind of training, that's the way we learn in magic. After all, a personal teacher can also give his apprentice a task, and then, when he breaks his nose and his knees, say, you fool, why didn't you realize that this is not a working method? Perhaps you will remember what I have taught you before you mindlessly follow my instructions. And if you see contradictions between my instruction to do a certain work today and what I taught you yesterday, you will compare these things and you won't trust so blindly, because any ritual you perform may turn out to be a provocation for you. Or it may work perfectly from the start because it's entirely appropriate for you. But you have to learn how to determine that. Everyone has their own algorithms for recognizing what is true and what is false, because everyone has their own magic. In some forms of magic a certain ritual is considered the ultimate truth, in others it is considered completely false. For example, the site contains a specific section on rituals related to white magic and black magic. Rituals of white magic work with the light-bearing channels associated with religions, with light, with glorifications, including Christianity and Islam, which means they work directly with canonical religions. And there are rituals of a black magic nature. And that is the first thing you have to determine. You have to somehow understand what the difference is between these two channels and then apply it all to yourself and understand which channel is available to you and which is not which you will work with and which you will never work with. It's like the first test of whether you belong to the dark side or the light side. This division between the dark side and the light side of magic happens in all schools of magic. And it's not that the dark side is about inner evil and the light side is about some special goodness, not at all. It's about a personal magical coloring that you just have to understand. You have to find out what vibrations you are going to work with and what vibrations you are not going to work with. Practitioners working through the light channel can easily place a curse so that their enemy will never get up again, just as practitioners working through the dark channel can completely heal a person so that no trace of oncology remains, and vice versa. It's all about magical coloring, not about moral and ethical standards, and that's the first thing a person who comes to this portal to learn should understand. This site is indeed a great teacher. Yes, of course, Russian black magic was the first to appear on this portal, but gradually a huge amount of information, useful practices, and not only practices appeared there. There is also a lot of theory and information published by excellent masters. So don't confuse the one with the other, colleague, just try to figure it out for yourself.
When you enter this portal, just remember that it is not made for you, it is made for everyone, and everyone can get what they came for. If you only see it as a space that is obliged to fulfill your wishes, you will be disappointed. It doesn't have to.